while we're here. Happy Monday, everyone. I feel like I haven't said that in a while, so bringing it back. So sorry for going missing last month. I know I came on here and said that I was gonna start uploading twice a week, but you know, things have happened. It ended up being one of the craziest months ever, but I'll go, I'll go all deep into that in a little bit. I actually went on my Instagram the other day and asked my followers what they wanted to see on my YouTube. Like I have a lot of followers, it's mostly just friends that follow me or actually care but some people actually wanted to see a life update for some reason i don't know why i don't know why anyone would care but here we are we're doing it plus i feel like i owe you the explanation anyway of why i went missing first things first i moved into a new apartment i don't know if you could tell um no one gives a shit. i really spiced it up for this year i moved into a new apartment i moved in with new roommates i'm falling into a new routine which is great after almost two full years of a pandemic and doing close to nothing. But yeah, everything's going great so far. Moving just fucking sucks. I don't know if many of you have moved as much as I have, but I did the math earlier and I think I've moved around like five or six times since 2017, so. I'm like a pro at it. I could easily do a full video series of me just telling you how to move, but it still won't be successful, trust me. Like every time I have moved, it has not gone smoothly. There's always something that goes on. First and foremost, it's exhausting. We had to be in here by January 3rd and I didn't have to be out of my old apartment by like the end of that week. So thankfully I had that whole week to kind of like move all my stuff, but um, it was still a like even from the first day that we were supposed to be in here, I had to drive 30 minutes to go get our keys, come back here, get us in, and then go immediately to work. After work, went back to my old apartment, picked up my stuff, and then came back here and stayed the night here. And that was basically that for the first like week. And I had to work throughout the entire thing. So it was pretty exhausting. Didn't have a lot of time, but we did it. We're all in. I didn't want to go through the whole hassle of getting a U-Haul because it's just like an extra cost that is just not needed sometimes. And I really don't have a lot of stuff, but the biggest thing I have is my bed. And the moving pro right here <laughs> somehow got his bed into his Ford Focus and got it here. We're chilling. But I will say, thank God I kept the little tool that came with my bed because if I didn't have that, I would have either had to get rid of my bed or get a U-Haul and two of those things were just things I didn't want to do. Thank God I have some undiagnosed ADHD or OCD, whatever you want to call it, but I kept that small little tool. So if you could take one piece of advice from this video, keep the tools that come with your furniture sets because it's going to come in handy one, one day, I promise. Especially that Ikea furniture. That shit's crazy. But yeah, I feel like I haven't stopped moving since New Year's Eve, but thankfully we're settling down a little bit more now. We're starting to decorate a little bit more too. I really want to shoot a uh, apartment tour at some point for, I was going to say for you guys, but I don't think anyone really cares, but I think it would be fun to look back on myself. If anything, I'm going to do it for me. But if you are interested in that, let me know because I will definitely do it. But once we're a little bit more settled in and a little bit more decorated, I'll have that video up soon. Ugh, the next piece of life that has been great for me this past month. Well, for those of you who don't know, currently work at a juice bar. I'm really embracing that West Coast lifestyle now, but they're promoting me to shift lead. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's really exciting, really grateful that I have the job, but as a film graduate, didn't really see juice bar in my future, but here I am. If you want me to make a smoothie, just now it's going to be professional level. Okay, I really wanted to go back and review my resolutions from last month because the last video I uploaded, I talked about resolutions and some of the goals I set for myself this year. And since I feel like 2022 is just gonna be better for all of us for some reason, I just wanted to review these resolutions and see how or if they have changed within the first month of 2022. So I'm gonna go back, find my list of resolutions that I made at the beginning of the year. I kept it in this journal. So first resolution is uh, capturing life more. My, my goal was to capture life more, like I have been. I took last year, vlogged a lot, didn't really make these sit down videos. So I wanted to keep doing that this year, but um, really funny 
because if you didn't see the last video, I did promise that I was gonna start uploading twice a week. One video being a vlog of my week, and uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that. I haven't even touched a camera in like about a month, so. But I definitely want to keep that goal alive. I wanna, I wanna dive back into it. My generation doesn't really have home videos anymore, so that's kind of how I see vlogs, and they're very interesting to look back on. I have so many videos from the past 10 years of my life that I look back on, and it's pretty entertaining. So I wanna keep that tradition alive, keep wanting to make more content like that, because it is a cool way to capture your life, as cringy as that sounds. It's a cool documentation of your growth, I think. It would also just like push me out of the house more to like do fun stuff, to kind of have that, you know, need to make interesting content. So I feel like if I keep myself accountable and keep vlogging, I will go out more and do more fun things. So we'll see about that. Okay, my next resolution was to cook more. Um, I've actually been pretty good with this resolution. I think I've made myself solid meals last month. And by solid meals, I mean like Trader Joe's frozen meals that I put in the microwave. But I've been consistently making myself three meals a day which is good, but I would really like to start making actual recipes like from scratch. I only know how to make like spaghetti and meatballs and that can only get me so far. So yeah, I kind of want to try like a recipe a week, if anything, a recipe a month. So if you have any fun recipes that you want me to try, please leave them in the comments because I'll, I'll think it over. Okay, my next resolution for this year was to watch more movies. Like take time to actually sit down and watch more movies because as a film graduate, it is pretty embarrassing how many classic movies and TV shows that I have yet to see. Every time someone's like, oh, have you seen blah, blah, blah? And I go, no. They always look at me a funny way and they go, aren't you in film? Which like, sidebar, you don't need to see all the classic movies to be into film, but I'm just saying it might be nice to know where they're coming from, I guess, I don't know. So along with cooking a new recipe every week, I want to pick a movie or TV show every week and kind of sit down and actually like watch it. And that kind of brings me into my next topic. But before I move on, looking back, I think I'm pretty doing pretty well with these resolutions. Obviously there's some stuff that needs working on, but hey, we're only a month in. I still got the rest of the year, baby. And if you are like me and stressing about not getting on top of your resolutions already, don't sweat it. We are only in the second month, babe. We got 11 more months to accomplish those things. And if it ends up being up until December and you still haven't done it, you still got that month to do it. So don't sweat. Okay, moving on. In my 10 years of posting content, I've always limited myself to posting one video a week. I always thought that like having the full week to put my creative energy into one project could lead to beautiful, beautiful effects. But um, here we are 10 years later, I'm still half-assing this shit. <laughs> so I want to make better content this year, but along with that, I did promise that I was going to upload twice a week. Mondays being uh, just these miscellaneous sit-down videos where I talk about whatever. Fridays being vlogs of the week. But since I'm just so dedicated, determined to starting fresh this year, I want to add a third day. We got our Monday videos, we got our potential Friday videos. I want to add a video on Wednesdays now. This was actually recommended by my friend Tyler, where I pick a movie and sit down and analyze them and give a true film graduate review on them. And they'll be kind of tongue in cheek. I'm not going to take it too seriously, but I do want to pick a movie every week or TV show, actually sit down, take it all in and give my thoughts because, you know, I see reviews all the time on Twitter, Letterboxd, even here on YouTube and sometimes like yes everyone's entitled to their own opinion but sometimes you're just straight wrong that's what we're gonna do hold me accountable if you have any movies or television shows that you want me to watch and review please leave those in the comments as well and uh, that kind of wraps things up here today I hope you guys had a good start to your new year please let me know what the most exciting part of your January was in the comments below along with those recipes along with those movies along with those TV shows along with just things that you want to see on this channel in general please I need the inspiration. And you can also just tweet me or DM me on Instagram. Everywhere is Dante Sinelli. You can find those links in the description as well. And while you're at it, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you really want to see more from me. Hit the bell notification because it tells you when exactly I upload a video. We all know your boy likes to go dark every so often, so it'll help you and me. New movie review. Our first movie review of the year is going up this Wednesday. By the time it goes up, it will be Groundhog Day. So I think I'm going to watch Groundhog Day by Bill Murray. 
by Bill Murray, <laughs> starring Bill Murray. Embarrassingly enough, as much as I love Bill Murray, I haven't seen Groundhog Day. It's gonna be a fun, fresh new review for you. And then a vlog on Friday. Stick around for those videos. Till then, don't be dicks to each other, please. Have a magnificent Monday. Bye-bye. Please God, I hope this recorded everything.